G'day everyone, I'm Dan Hatchman from Hatchel Shapes and in this tutorial we will cover waxing your surfboard from selecting your wax through the temperature control and waxing techniques for controlling the size of your mounds. Step 1. Select your wax. The first thing to consider when buying wax is its temperature rating. You will want one bar for your top coat that's advertised temperature rating matches the water temperature where you're surfing and one bar for your base coat that is one or two temperature grades hotter than that. Don't overlook this step. Get a bar that's for warmer water and your board will be hard and slippery. Too cold and at worst your wax will slide off your board under your feet and at best it will wear much faster. Not all wax is created equal in terms of grip, price and wear. Stab has a near exhaustive review of waxes and I've left the link to that article in the description below. I've chosen FK Warm for my base coat. It's a reasonably priced square block that makes nice durable mounds and I've chosen Sex Wax Mid Cool for a sticky and grippy top coat in 22 degrees Celsius water. Step 2. Cross Hatch. Draw a cross pattern with your base coat wax. Use the edge of the bar. Wax to the tip if you want to be like John John. I wax these bitches all the way to the nose, every square inch of the board. Step three, grip your bar. Hold your bar loosely like this. It will allow the bar to move and jump around, which creates the mounds. Step four, bounce your bar. Bounce your bar perpendicular to your lines established earlier. This will make a more uniform wax job. If you want your wax job to show your cross pattern more, skip this step. If your bar isn't bouncing, your grip may be too tight, or if a lot of wax is rubbing off or smudging, the temperature of the bar may be too hot, and you should run your bar and or board under cool water. And I had to do this today because it was pretty hot out. If your bar is too cold, it won't grab at the board properly, and it won't leave enough wax behind. You can warm the block up under the tap or against your leg. Step five. Little bouncy circles. Still with a light grip and low pressure, start making little circles, ensuring your bar bounces. A light grip is super important, as well as wax and board temperature. Continue until you see little mounds all over your board. Once you hear this noise, you can make a little bit bigger circles and worry about bouncing a little less. Step six, optional pressure circles. If you want your mounds to be bigger in diameter, which I usually don't, but some people like it, make little circles while applying a bit of pressure. Your base coat is done when your mounds are as big as you like. Step seven, little circles of top coat. It's as simple as it sounds. Congrats, you're done, you've done a wax job. And remember, this guy waxes to the tip and this guy waxes two little circles around his feet. Until next time, over and out, subscribe and like the video for more good stuff.